Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is the Lush Kitchen subscription and this is for November 2020. This month's theme is It's Fairy Exciting. So I'm new to the Lush Kitchen subscription. This is my first box that I've purchased and I purchased it myself. So obviously, as usual, I'm gonna be giving you my full opinions and thoughts having now received this box. So if you're new to the channel, I do an awful lot of unboxings, a lot of kind of beauty unboxings, I do reviews, um, things from beauty all the way through to things like tea and coffee and I also have an advent calendar unboxing playlist which has over 50 videos of the 2020 advent calendar so if that's your thing go check it out now in terms of this box it costs 35 pounds it is a rolling monthly subscription although of course you can cancel at any time and on top of that 35 pounds you are paying another three pound 95 for delivery which is kind of a little bit frustrating. So in terms of subscription costs, it's kind of up there in terms of beauty subscriptions. Most subscriptions I have are around about the £15 a month mark, so this is considerably more. However, of course, Lush as a brand, some of the stuff can be a little bit pricey, so I guess I can understand that. So I'm gonna go through this box in a minute and I'm gonna show you what came in this month's box and also how much I believe each individual item is worth. So you can kind of work out the value and stuff in the box if you're trying to make the decision about whether or not to get it. So one of the reasons I went to get it, I really like Lush, but I haven't bought anything from them for quite a while and I liked the idea of receiving a box not really knowing what was gonna be in there. So it's a little bit exciting and of course with situation as it is with the world i mean we've just gone into another lockdown here in the uk self-care is becoming even more important it's been a really tough time so i do think this box will probably become even more popular um, as more people are kind of looking for ways to sort of treat themselves where possible so the way it works you sign up for the subscription and depending on what time of month you sign up you will be sent an email from Lush Kitchen to log into your account and vote on some of the products for the upcoming box. So what they did, they sent, I think it was nine um, items to vote on. Of the nine items, three of them have ended up in this box and then there's another two items that have been selected by the Lush Kitchen team. So I'll put on the screen all of the different options they allowed us to choose from this month. So I thought this was quite a fun idea, um, you know, choosing which items you like, but of course you're not gonna get all of them and you're not gonna necessarily even get any of the ones you voted on. It depends what's the most popular. A lot of the items in this box are exclusive to the box and exclusive to Lush Kitchen. So that's another kind of draw with this subscription. The whole, I'm gonna get something that isn't available in the shops. And obviously at the minute we can't go into shops. So another kind of good reason to do this. Uh, like I said, not a, not a huge fan of delivery. I hate paying delivery charges, but um, I guess Lush in general do charge a delivery charge on their website anyway. You can't buy anything from the Lush website and put it in this box and have it sent together to save on postage, that's not an option. Um, you do have to just pay it for this um, subscription and if you then want to order other things from Lush you have to pay again for delivery. So just something to think about if you kind of have these sorts of questions. And if there's anything I've not mentioned and you kind of want to ask, um, just leave me a comment underneath and I'll try and answer it if I can. So onto this one's box. So like I said, it says it's very exciting. And then on the back, it shows me the pictures and the names of all the items in here. There's also a Lush app that you can download on your phone and you can scan like the QR code and it will show you some more information about the products and things like this. So this is box number six, but like I said, for me, it's actually the first box. You also get um, a little sheet that tells you the ingredients of each individual item in here. So with Lush, a lot of the kind of loose products, obviously it doesn't say what's in them because they're not packaged. They're really kind of eco-friendly in that way. Um, so this sheet will tell you um, exactly what's in it. So even the little things they put inside to protect everything are called Eco Pops and they're made from expanded cornstarch instead of polystyrene. So again, a lot better for the environment and the box itself is cardboard so it can be recycled, etc. So I'm pleased that they're kind of thinking about the footprint on that one. So the first thing I see here is Happy Blooming. So this is a body lotion. It's packed with fair trade, organic cocoa butter and almond oil to soften and moisturize. Now this is in a 100 gram pot. All the products in this uh, box are vegan and 
It's a kitchen exclusive body lotion. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like and it looks like it's quite a thin body lotion sinks into the skin really nicely it says a splash of ylang ylang oil will uplift your mood and reduce anxiety apply to dry skin and let this feel good lotion sink right in to me it smells a little bit almondy marzipani which i'm not really a massive fan of but it other than that, it's got something else going on in it. I guess that's the ylang ylang that's in there. So I've worked out 100 gram body lotion from Lush would normally cost around about £9. So that I'm going to say that's the value on this one. Everything in this box you can't currently buy from the Lush website because I checked. Um, some of the items seem to be old items that they've discontinued and then brought back for this box. So keep that one in mind. Then we've got a shower jelly and this is called the Jilted Elf. Fall drunk in love with this luminescent lonely elf and this is a 100 gram container. Wobble and lather or chill if you'd rather for an extra invigorating blast used straight from the fridge or freezer. It says sweet fig, enlivening ginger and sharp citrus make this a wibbly wobbly fruity tipple for the skin. I'll show you what it looks like. So this smells incredible. You really get a little bit of the citrus cutting through but it's so much more than that. And look how sparkly it is. Kind of reminds me of Flubber, though, you know the film. <laughs> I've never used um, a shower jelly before, but my understanding is you just take it into the shower with you and apply it, rub it all over your skin, etc. So that looks like an interesting one. Like I said, it's a 100 gram size. So a shower jelly in this size normally would be between about £5 and £5.50, depending on which one you select. Again, exclusive to this box, but that's roughly how much this one is worth. Then we have got this bubble bar. This sort of smells like the ocean, which I guess you'd expect with the colours and stuff in there. So this isn't one we voted on, this is one that was kind of selected for us, and it's called Outback Mate Bubble Bar. Doesn't really tell you much about it. I can see it's got eucalyptus oil, lemongrass oil, peppermint oil in there, so that's kind of where the scent's coming from. But with the bubble bars, you can kind of crumble it under hot water in the bath, and obviously it fragrantly scents your bath and the bathroom. And actually, when you open this box, you do get that really nice kind of, I've just stepped into a lush shop scent. Um, so you kind of get the effect as if you just walked in, which I like. You can definitely smell some really nice smells when you open the box, which is great. But yeah, it smells really good. I mean, with the bubble bars, because you don't have to kind of, you don't drop it in the bath like a bath bomb, you can use it more than once. So you can kind of split it in half and just crumble half of it under or a third or whatever you want to do. So you can get a little bit more use out of these. And the bubble bar, usually something like this, would be around about £4.50. It's also got little bits of glitter and stuff on there. Then we have got a bath bomb. This is called the Winter Bath, and this is one of the ones we voted on. It's got fair trade organic cocoa butter. It's got rice bran oil. It's got cedarwood oil, clove bud oil, ginger absolutes ginger oil and sandalwood oil, among other things in there. It smells kind of like a, the outdoors, like a garden almost. I know it sounds like a really strange one. It sounds like it might be quite moisturizing with it having that like cocoa butter in there. So that sounds like a nice kind of winter treat. Cause obviously in winter you need to kind of up your hydration levels. And if you're using body products, you want to be using body cream. And so, I mean, a body cream probably would have been more appropriate for November than body lotion, but body lotion is what we've got. It sinks in easier. So it's kind of easier to apply than body cream anyway. Um, then finally, we've got another kitchen exclusive shower gel, and this is called Glog, and this is one that was voted on. It's the largest product in here at 250 mils. And the ingredients, it starts off with cinnamon stick and clove infusion. And it says, pour yourself a generous helping, lather it all over and rinse it off. Get into the Christmas spirit with spicy cinnamon and clove infusion and a glug of warming brandy for good measure. And it says the orange juice in this lather not only helps this festive punch smell amazing, but it also cleanses skin to make you glow. And of course it's made from recycled plastic, the, um, the bottle. And it really does smell kind of like mulled wine to me. So that's really nice and really quite festive to get you in the spirit. 
So this amount of shower gel would usually be around about £14, so the highest value item in here. Something like this would usually be around about £3.95. So just a quick recap, here's everything that came in the box. We've got the shower gel, the body lotion, the shower jelly, the bubble bar and the bath bomb. And this is for November 2020. So when I add it all up together, it comes out at £36.45. And like I said, I paid 35 for the box. So you're not really getting a massive saving. This one is all about getting exclusive products and a nice kind of treat surprise through the mail. It would also be a lovely gift for someone. But like I said, on top of that, you are also paying the shipping as well. So again, it ends up with the shipping costing more than buying the items individually, but you can't buy a lot of these items individually. So do take that one into account. Um, but let me know in the comments what do you think of this subscription is it one you've tried or want to try or will be trying and I will pop up on the screen next month's picks so I've already had the email asking me to make some selections for next month so these are the items we were able to pick from so make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when my next video goes live and I will be unboxing the December Lush Kitchen Box because I will be continuing with this subscription. Like I said, I like the idea of trying kind of exclusive products and getting this kind of self-care treat through the post. So I will be sticking with this one. So make sure you stick with me if you want to see what's in future boxes. As usual, I always try to get my unboxings up pretty much as soon as the items arrive wherever possible so that you can kind of get that content straight away and I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing thank you so much for watching bye guys